What's up, Crypto Crew? Welcome back. Or if this is your first time, I'm Captain Crypto Might, actively escaping the matrix, scoping out the crypto oceans. If you like your odds, get on the boat, stay up to date, thumbs up, and join the hunt. Into the boat! Crypto Crew Casper's developing interesting tech that will put the whole crypto ocean on notice, as you will see in today's vid. Now, for all the Casper doubters, because of Casper's removal of Grayscale's list of assets under consideration, look what Grayscale just put back on. Guess you guys not ready for that yet. I saw people online, even in the comments section of some of my vids, spewing FUD. Meanwhile, that same grayscale considered mantra at the same time, Mantra's OM coin did a rug pull of over 90%. Point, if you pay attention to things you don't have any control over, you'll get shaken out easy. In other words, you lack conviction, and that will never bear fruits of success, and that's why I continue to preach, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Cash plus a digital asset, you need to to keep safe and practicing self custody is key, especially during this 2025 bull run. In my opinion, the Tangent Wallet is your best option, plug and play, easy to use, and the most affordable gold storage. So, if you wish to order your Tangent Wallet today, you can get 10% off using code Crypto Crew. Check out the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for your consideration and support in advance, and may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you all. <laughs> Crypto Crew at the making of this recording, Caspa is far from a finished project, but Caspa's Layer 1 is fundamentally sound. I personally believe there are not many projects, if at all, that will be able to match Caspa in terms of its overall fundamentals and being future-proof. Just to drive this point home, this is what Caspa originator Jonathan Sampolinski said on one of his tweets, quote, if ZK Tech was mature at their launch times, Bitcoin and Ethereum would have been designed this way too. End quote. Something the guys behind Igra Labs echo. And Igra Labs will use Casper as a sequencer, bringing forth their unique smart contract solution to a Casper running on 10 BPS soon. Motivation uh, uh, for rollups on Ethereum and uh, the motivation for rollups on Casper is uh, like inverse. In Ethereum, yeah. you have the smart contract, you don't have the scale. So if you want to scale, you need to do those roll-ups. On Casper, it's the inverse. You, you have the scale. You, you don't need uh, somebody yeah. to store all the transactions and, and batch them so that you can put them on the tiny blockchain yeah. we have. No, we have enough space for everybody. Yeah. Uh, what we yeah. don't have is the, the smart contracts. So yeah. uh, it's the inverse thing. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's the same name for, for uh, I don't know, for, for, for linguistic reasons. If you followed the crypto ocean for a while, crypto crew, there's no doubt Ethereum is in trouble from a fundamental point of view. <laughs> this is why I call Ethereum Caspa's failing dad. The first question that uh, we want to ask is basically like, why do we care about this, right? Why do we care about faster communication between um, L2 and L1? And I think for me, there's uh, two reasons uh, why this is important. One of them is uh, just a user experience. Waiting for one week is a bad experience. And uh, the other reason is well, we need Ethereum to be a more integrated ecosystem. One of the yeah, challenges in Ethereum right now is like we have these L2 ecosystems systems and the L2 ecosystems have been scaling quite well. Their technology has been improving quite well, but there's a lot of challenges with fragmentation. And if we want to try to reduce those challenges with fragmentation, then like we need to do things to actually make optimism and Arbitrum and ZK Sync and Polygon and like all of these uh, different parts of the bigger Ethereum world actually feel like they're parts of one Ethereum world instead of feeling like they're separate chains. I'm sure Vitalik Buterin, who in the past bigged up Casper originator Jonathan Sampolinski, listened to Casper's smart contract developments during the recent 2025 Web3 festival in Hong Kong. But Casper will also challenge other layer ones such as Sui and Solana, which both have a history of failing networks. In native L1s, let's say Solana, Sui, Aptos, they implemented smart contracts natively. A developer comes, she uses the SDK and deploys of L1 and deploys immediately uh, a contract on L1. There's no capture of L2, although in principle, anyone can develop an L2 on Solana. I'm sure some esoteric projects exist uh, therein. 
However, this is not the core, the social consensus of Solana or Aptos, Sui, and others. You compare this to Ethereum, which is largely governed by L2s, and there's this clear dynamic where L2s compete on, on dev capture and smart contract capture. It means liquidity is fragmented, so if I want to deposit collateral on a DeFi lending platform, I must choose, or rather on, on Ethereum L1, in the broader interpretation of an ecosystem. They're using proposers that are their way of decentralizing base rollups, right? So they're saying, hey, we're going to build our own network and provers. So they have proposers and provers that are working together. Uh, so proposers collect the batching, does the batching, prover does the ZK and send it to the layer one, right? Which is, that's not happening on the, your side, right? You're very different. I just wanted to highlight the differences so that we, we are sort of throwing this term, I think, generically based roll up. I agree. That's a challenge. In our industry, you have to, when you explain something, you have to use existing categories. Like, yeah. It's really hard to uh, actually introduce completely new concept because then you have to spend a lot of time actually just to build the new mental model for your audience. So by using like the concept of the base rollup, we I think we at least get halfway in terms of explaining the sequencing. That sequencing happens on layer one. But then yeah. we also have to explain we're actually not batching anything and we don't have any proposers and builders in this model, like this model is actually, we see it as a paste rollup should have done on Ethereum from the very first stage, like from the, from the get go. Like the whole cycle which Ethereum ecosystem went through with the scaling through L2s, it was required from product and ecosystem standpoint at that moment. But from technical standpoint, you should have do, uh, built what we currently built, I think we believe so. Just, yeah. just built uh, programmability and Keep sequencing on the layer layer one. Casp on 10 BPS will be historical for crypto as a whole, a proof of work crypto project that will be able to compete with proof of stake crypto projects in terms of speed and scalability while staying secure and fully decentralized. The second order implication is that interoperability is hard to achieve. So if you think of an L2 as a bunch of smart contracts, the interest of that entity is to capture as many biz devs of, of smart contracts to their rollout, to their L2, right? That there's not really an incentive, a good incentive for one rollup to be smoothly interoperable with another one because that means it doesn't capture as much value. It allows smooth transitioning and smooth exi exiting out of that rollup. We are aiming to have this natural dynamic where a smart contract devs deploys things on L1. However, most nodes on L1 do not need to compute it. You can still still run your node on a commodity hardware. Something that you have on your home, orders of magnitude less than native L1s. So, you know, the prime example is Solana. It's very difficult, I think perhaps impossible to run full node on commodity hardware, which is why they're able to process um, a gazillion transactions per second. Processing that amount of transactions will soon not only be a perk exclusive to proof of stake crypto projects, and Casper will even do it better than projects like Solana. I mean, no offense if you hold Sol, but for all of the impressive speed Solana provides, the trade-off is insane. Casper's ability to scale whilst staying true to Bitcoin-like fundamentals, I believe will change the paradigm for crypto as a whole. Not only has this never been achieved before, Casper also is exposing proof of stake in the process. You find, for example, in Solana that a validator requires hardware that costs about 10,000 bucks. The utility costs, even just replacing hard drives and electricity, the hardware maintenance, it comes up to about 400 bucks a month. In comparison, our testnet that is running right now on 3,000 transactions per second, people run it on like 10 year old laptops, they run it on Raspberry Pis, on old cell phones, and the operational costs are completely marginal. So this is like a unique benefit of proof of work. Proof of work is much, much easier to validate than proof of stake, which gives you the performance of proof of stake. It remains much more decentralized because it doesn't matter what the rate is, validating is just checking a hash and see that it nones us right. It's just very, very cheap check. The testnet is live, it's open, anyone can join it, anyone can spam it, do whatever they want. We are running on 3,000 transactions per second, over 10 blocks per second, and we believe we can go higher. I believe we can go over 10,000, but right now there is no need to. People join, again, as I said, with very cheap hardware, people sync all cell phones to the mainnet, uh, the testnet, and still they are holding their own, and the nodes are holding 3,000 transactions per second without even breaking a sweat. 
Crypto Crew, as mentioned at the start of the vid, if you pay attention on things you have no control over, you'll get shaken out easily. In other words, you lack conviction, and that will never bear fruit of success. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Stick around. Fix your mind before you get to the grind. And with that said, let's continue to escape the matrix. Let's continue to be on the lookout for the next big thing here on the crypto ocean. Grow in grace and let's make some crypto waves. Say I.